Welcome back. Glad that you could join me for this week's Sunday School lesson. This week we are going to be in Matthew and we're going to be talking about something called Do Not Fear. In our reading today, Jesus tells his disciples to not fear at least three times. That's a lot. And so that's pretty important. But before we get to our reading, I have a question for you. So has there been a time, and I want you to think about this as I'm asking this question, has there ever been a time when you've been afraid or scared or worried? What was that time? Can you share it with the people watching with you? And why were you scared of that? Yeah, there are so many things that people are afraid of in this world. A really common fear when we're younger is that we're afraid of the dark because we don't know uh, what was there. We can't see it, so we're afraid of that. Um, I'm sure that there's other fears that you can think of. Uh, for me, I was afraid of car washes when I was younger. I have no idea why, uh, but I was. Um, and so being afraid of something, it, it's pretty hard when someone tells you to just not be afraid of it, right? Yeah, we don't know why. But when, say, our parents come in and comfort us, uh, say when we're afraid of the dark or we have a nightmare or something else, and they're there with us, that helps us get over our fear, right? It helps us get through that fear. Well, today's Bible reading talks about do not fear and also how much God cares for us and uh, pays attention and knows um, what's happening with us and knows us. And so he in this reading also, it's talking not necessarily about being scared of the dark or being afraid of car wash or getting a good grade in school. But it's talking about um, the disciples being scared to tell other people about Jesus and um, to be and to tell the disciples not to be afraid to believe in God. Uh, and so we're going to be in Matthew chapter 10. So if you want to flip your Bibles there, now you can. And the whole reading for this week is uh, focused on verses 24 to 33 or 22 to 33, uh, but I'm just going to read a couple parts for us here, okay? All right, and so it says in verse 26, so have no fear of them for nothing is covered that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light and what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. So right here, Jesus is telling the disciples to not fear the people that would come in and hurt them um, because uh, they want their way, but rather the disciples should not be afraid to tell other people about Jesus and about God because that is the really important thing to do. And then it even talks later on, it says, are not two sparrows even sold for a penny? and not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. Now, I don't know if you know what sparrows are, but sparrows are really small birds. There's not a lot of meat on them. Uh, but back in Bible times, people would eat these sparrows for food, and it would be the really, really poor people that couldn't afford much uh, because they weren't worth a lot of money. It says right here, two sparrows sold for a penny. So they aren't worth a whole lot but yet God knows when just one of those sparrows one of those birds falls to the ground he knows that and then it even says in verse 30 uh, but even the hairs on your head are all numbered fear not therefore you are of more value than many sparrows Wow. so I don't know about you but have you ever tried counting the hairs on your head I mean we can try, right, but it'll take a really long time. And then if we try to count the hairs on our head again, we'll probably come up with a different number. Uh, 
If you want to, you can pause the video right now and take some time to try and count your hairs. Good luck. Uh, I'm not going to try though because I have tried it before. And I don't get very far before I either lose track of the number. I get interrupted and forget what I was, the number where I was at. Or I just get bored with counting my hair because there's so much. Well, God cares for us so much that he knows every single hair on our head. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? And it also says here that we are of more value than many sparrows. So remember where it said that uh, God knows even when one sparrow falls to the ground, uh, even though they're of little value, well, we're even more, we're even of greater value than those sparrows. So God pays even more attention to us and knowing us. And um, that's what is talked about when it says that he even knows the number of hairs on our head. And that's crazy. But it's such a good reminder to us about how much God cares for us and he knows us and he loves us. So that when we're going through hard times, uh, maybe it's because of what we believe in or just uh, hard times in life because the devil likes to come in and tempt us or uh, take us away, that God cares for us so much that uh, our soul is safe with him and that nothing can separate us or take us away from God's love. That's pretty cool. So, um, this week for activities that you can do at home, uh, one of them is a care chain or a paper chain. So, with this paper chain, you'll think of things that God cares for you by, and then write that on a slip of paper. So, you'll need uh, slips of paper and a pen or a pencil or a marker, something to write with. And then you'll also need tape, but you'll write that down by saying God cares for you by, and then you'll finish that phrase. So on mine, I have God cares for you by giving me faith, giving me the Bible, uh, giving me my family. And then I also have uh, giving me good food to eat. Uh, and you can make it as long as you want to. I just made a short one for right now. But anyways, you make that and then you'll tape the little paper slips together and uh, each day I challenge you after you've made this chain, hang it up somewhere that you'll remember and then um, just to remember to thank, praise God and thank him for the blessings that he's given us. Uh, take and pick one of the chains each day on one of the ends and uh, pray uh, to God, thanking him for that gift that he's given you and care that he's shown you through that and then tear it off when you're done with it and then throw it away and then uh, keep going every day and do a different care each day. And then another activity that I have is that God cares for us by listening to us and listening to our prayers and we also are called to care for our neighbors and care for others. And so one of the ways that we can do that is by just taking time to listen to other people uh, about how their day is going, how their week is going. So as a family or household, I encourage you uh, to take time to sit down uh, today and each day this week and just share highs and lows about each person's day. And then if there's anything that you need to pray about uh, for that, maybe it's Thanksgiving uh, maybe it's a prayer petition uh, for something that this person is having a hard time going through. Uh, take time to pray for that together as a family at the dinner table. So those are the activities that I have for this week. Uh, but before you go, will you join me in a word of prayer? Remember, we pray by folding our hands, closing our eyes, and bowing our heads. And I will say a line and you Pray it back to God. Are you ready? All right. Dear God, thank you for caring for us. Help us to show 
your care to others too. In your name, amen. Thank you so much for joining me this week. See you next week.